question. So, Lira, I'm just thinking, what kind of really happens during a solar eclipse? And, you know, Tom was telling us why, but why is this one so special? Well, eclipses actually happen all the time. If you think about the Earth orbiting the sun and the moon orbiting the Earth and the Earth spinning, uh, it's just that most of the time these eclipses happen over the ocean because the ocean covers the vast majority of the Earth. But every now and then, it, uh, the path of totality goes over uh, you know, big population centers like this time. So every couple of decades or so, or even sooner sometimes, we get uh, part of the North America that is covered in that zone. And this is one of those times. And so it'll get uh, very dark if you're in the path of totality. If you're not, it'll still get a little bit darker, you know, depending on how far away you are. Uh, but it won't last very long, as, as Tom was saying, only about three, three and a half minutes. Uh, but it'll be a pretty cool thing to see. And Lyra, you're actually one of the few people who have seen a partial eclipse from space. And you said that it's better viewed from here on Earth? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I shot the first astronaut video of an eclipse from space, and you can see a little kind of a brown spot or black blackish spot uh, on the clouds. And, uh, you know, it was not super dramatic, so it would be much more dramatic here to actually have it uh, kind of go dark or, you know, to a degree or so. I remember when I was uh, probably eight or nine years old, I saw my first eclipse, and uh, it was, a you know, a good part of the sun was blocked out. We weren't in the path of totality. Uh, but I remember it just kind of got dark on the playground around a little bit and you know for a couple of minutes and it wasn't too big of a deal but it was kind of cool and experts have said that it's not something you just see but that somehow you feel it as well how do you feel it well, it's a, it's a lot. Well, I mean, you're literally uh, getting into shade, right? So if you're out on a hot summer day and you step into some shade, it feels a lot cooler. It's very much like that. But of course, it's not going to last. And of course, the, the earth is still warm. And so it's not going to get that much colder. You're, you're just going to be blocked from that direct sunlight for a few minutes. And so you'll get a chance to cool off if you're in some uh, in some hot weather. Uh, so you'll feel it for sure if you're in the path of totality, but it won't be uh, too, too dramatic. You know, I was thinking just how in, in history of, of the world, different people have seen this as being different things, right? And so now we're able to, you know, predict it, know exactly where it's going to be happening, how long. How can people watch it safely? Well, you have to, of course, use the glasses. Don't look directly at the sun without these special glasses. Uh, don't use your phone. Uh, you know, you could kind of inadvertently look at the sun. I mean, if you glimpse that, you know, even now with the sun, uh, you can take a quick look at it without any problem, but just don't uh, don't have that temptation to look at it for, for several seconds or, or longer. Uh, you, you could do permanent eye damage. So uh, be safe, use the glasses if you want to look up at it. Otherwise, just kind of enjoy, you know, uh, seeing the effects of everything getting a little bit darker for a while, for, for a short period of time. Uh, how excited are you and where are you going to be? I know you're in Houston. Right. I'm in Houston right now looking outside. It's pretty overcast, so uh, probably won't be very dramatic from here. Uh, but I know other parts of the country, hopefully the weather is clear and, and people there will get a good view of it. Leroy Chow, thank you very much for being with us. It's always great seeing you. I really appreciate your time. My pleasure. Thank you. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.